What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I've been gone for like a week. I'm happy to be back. So, I'm finna jam with y'all. Uh, this is gonna be a reading for Cancer. Okay, some of rising Venus and North Node for Cancers. So, Cancer, tap in, okay? Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And we gonna get into it for my cancers, okay? All right. Let's cleanse in the energy here. Um, cancer. But first of all, I just heard somebody's favorite color could be purple. So, that's hella random. I don't know. But anyway. Um, cancer. Um... I ain't really get no downloads for you, but the feeling that I feel is, like, very humbling. I feel like something here, a situation here, is something has been very humbling, okay? Like, somebody has been, like, dropped back down to reality, dropped back down to earth. Um, This could be you or somebody else. I don't know, but I'll show you the cards that I got. Um, Cancer, hold on. All right. Um, the first card that I got is a new start is coming. So it's a new moon here. Um, and yeah, I feel like can't say you could be starting over in an area of your life. You could be starting completely over in some sort of way. Um, I kind of feel like this is the new start that you've been needing though, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like it was self-initiated. I feel like something happened here to cause this new start for you. Um, this may have been some sort of new beginning that you've been avoiding, you know what I'm saying? Like, or procrastinating on something that you, you should have been like started over or went in a different direction or started something new here. But I feel like something had to force this new start to come, um, especially if a situation like got way too out of control, way too toxic. Um, yeah, I feel like that shit is over with. It's, it's just like. It's, it's nothing else to do but start over now. <clears throat> yeah, so this card can speak to a new beginning. I feel like you're starting over. Something new is happening here. Um, I feel like there's just like, it feels like a clean slate out here. You know what I'm saying? This is you or somebody else. Um, and then we got number 31. So somebody could be 31 years old, but this card says atonement. That's why I say something here feels humbling this new start feels like it wasn't self-initiated. This feels like this new start was like done by the higher ups. It was done by spirit because somebody out here is having to pay for their sins. You know what I'm saying? I feel like karma has really like spun the block on somebody. And now it's like nothing else to do but humble yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like. I don't know, somebody out here, some of you um, cancers could be like real witchy. You could be in the spell work or whatever the fuck, but I feel like something here, I don't know, somebody went like overboard with the spell work or something here to where something happened. Because this, this card also reminds me of like the Ten of Swords or something. So, um, somebody could be humbling, humbling themselves due to somebody passing away or due, due to something happening to somebody really close to them. It's like a wake up call. It's like when something real tragic happens and then it just changes your perspective about life, about like, damn, like I really should change or I really should just start to do shit different. Like that's kind of how it feels. Yeah, but somebody here is, I mean, they're basically reaping what they've, they've sown. You know, somebody here is having to pay for their sins. Like, there's a new beginning here that's happening for somebody. Um, I feel like this person, they know why this is happening. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't really feel like it's like... <laughs> like, I just don't feel like somebody is, like, too happy to be going through this process. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody wanted a new start, but I didn't think I don't think they wanted to start it off like this, or they didn't want the new start to come this way, or you know what I'm saying? Like I hope I hope you're understanding what I'm trying to say, uh, Cancer. It just feels like this new beginning was like 
initiated by the most high. It's like somebody's having to do something. They're having to start over whether they like it or not. Somebody out here is reaping what they've sown. They're paying for their sins. <clears throat> they're being forced to clean up this karmic debt. And no, it doesn't feel too good with all those swords in her back. But it's just like she's taking it on the chin or something here or something like that. I don't I don't know, Cancer. Like, let's see. Cause I feel like something somebody could have been doing something here that they ain't had no business. And it's like, whatever happened here, they never thought that this could happen to them. You know, they never thought it could be them. But now that it is them, somebody is like humbled. Like, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody's not happy about having to start over. But at the same time, it's like through this humbling experience, they know why they're having to start over because of something that they were doing. I feel like somebody is starting to understand here that you don't get away with anything in this life. Like God has the last say so. God is in control. Okay. What's the message here for cancer? first card out is the world card yeah i told you like a cycle is closed out like somebody's having to start over they're having to start anew because something the cycle is closed out this old chapter is like done you know what i'm saying something has happened here to officially close a cycle out but like i said it wasn't of this person's own doing like this wasn't somebody who is like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the point of my life where I feel like things need to change. You know, I'm ready to start over. Whoever this is, I feel like they weren't ready to start over. They weren't ready for this new start. They weren't ready for this new beginning. But Spirit said it's time. So they're having to just go with the punches right now because they're not in control of anything is what they're realizing. Yeah, King of Pentacles here. So some of you could be meeting somebody new. Could be an earth sign in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. <clears throat> or I don't know. This could be a masculine energy, a king of pentacles who decided to close the cycle out with you, um, Cancer. Yeah, the king of pentacles. I mean, this could be somebody with money, somebody with a nice job, somebody with a nice career, somebody who has to dress up. I mean, it could be a lawyer. It could be anybody who, you know, has to wear a suit. This could be a nice looking man. This could even be a Caucasian man for some of you. Yeah, so I don't know if you're meeting this person. Somebody um, initials could start with D, M, or C. I'm hearing the name D'Amico. So, I don't fucking know. Yeah, sacrifice. Mm -hmm, look at that. I told you. It's like somebody had to be sacrificed. That's why this new beginning has begun here. Like, somebody got sacrificed or something here had to be let go of. Mm. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, somebody here is confused or they're lost. It's like they don't know what to do now that this new beginning has started. I'm telling you, like, somebody here didn't think something was going to go the way that it did. They didn't think something was going to end the way that it was going to end or this new start was going to be like this. Like, it's like somebody was, like, caught off guard with, like, something being completely the fuck over and ending and having to start over. Now somebody, Seven of Cups, they're just lost and confused and they don't know what to do. <clears throat> yeah, the devil here. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Somebody sell they sold they sold to the devil. They signed their name on the dotted line and shit. Mm -mm. Yeah, and we got soul lessons. It says look for the learning experience. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody doesn't understand the lesson in this situation yet. It's like somebody's still lost. They don't understand that, you know, that they signed a deal with the devil. You know what I'm saying? This is what your soul signed up for. You sign a deal with the devil, but the devil loses to the most high every fucking time. So somebody here is like, well, I signed a deal with the devil. I sold my soul. Like, I don't understand how I'm paying karma. Like, why am I atoning for sin? Some is not even my fault. Like, it's like somebody here is like <clears throat> the scapegoat for something. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody's like paying karma. It's like they're paying for their sins, but they're also maybe taking the blame for somebody else too. And they may feel like it's not fair, but shit, that's what happens when you sign a deal with the devil. Like somebody's confused here. Like the devil is a liar. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil gonna promise you something just to get his his work done. And then he gonna leave your ass high and dry. That's how the devil works here. That's why somebody doesn't understand. It's like, damn. I made a deal with the devil and I'm the one who has to um take the L for this. Like that's crazy. Yeah, look at that judgment and the ten of swords. Ooh, we somebody could have got killed. The judgment with the ten of swords, somebody could have passed away. My condolences, cancer. Yeah, spirit called judgment on somebody. And now they're in the ten of swords. Their their mental health. Could be at risk. I mean, look at that. Somebody here is really at rock bottom. Like, look at this shit. Look at all them fucking swords. It's like somebody's paying double, double karma. Ooh, wee. Yeah, it's like somebody's like paying for the sins of themselves. And sins for somebody else, too. It's like somebody is being sacrificed out here with this sacrifice card. Somebody made a deal with the devil and they couldn't they couldn't promise they couldn't um, make do on their end of the deal. So now they got to pay for what they did and what somebody else did too. the judgment is here. Somebody could have even lost their life, been sent to the upper room. Yeah, they're having to face judgment, having to look themselves in the mirror. Yeah, somebody here is definitely being humbled, okay? Somebody is being called out by spirit for something that they were doing. It's like somebody was doing something in hopes to be with a king of pentacles and hopes to be with this man, this this stable, secure man with money and uh, stability and shit. <clears throat> but somebody here went too far. Ooh, we can't say what the fuck. It's like somebody wanted to be with this king of pentacles at all costs. You know what I'm saying? They thought they were going to have a new a new beginning, a new lease on life with this King of Pentacles, this Taurus Capricorn Virgo person. Um, but something that they were doing, I don't know if they were doing spell work on this person. I don't know why I'm hearing the name Parker. That could be somebody's last name. But yeah, it's like somebody was doing the most to try to be with this King of Pentacles, but it backfired. All this spell work that they were doing to try to stay with a king of pentacles it cost them somebody in their family so whoever if this is a feminine energy who did this Ooh -wee. <clears throat> yeah somebody here made a deal with the devil and, but they couldn't fulfill their promise to the devil. They couldn't deliver on what this was in this contract that they made with this devil. They couldn't fulfill this. So because they couldn't fulfill this, the devil took somebody in their family. Somebody close to them was sacrificed. Now somebody's like confused. They're having to start over. They're getting all this karma. They like, why is all, I mean, like somebody feels like their karma is like too harsh. They're just like, okay, I know I sold my soul. I know I was doing spell work. I know I was doing somebody had no business. But this 
it's just like beyond, you know what I'm saying? Somebody feels like my karma is just like overkill. Like I don't deserve all of this. But at the same time, I mean, that's what happens when you're doing shit you ain't got no business. Like you don't get to determine how harsh or heavy your karma is going to be. You don't, that's what I be saying. That's like <clears throat> the best way I can put it, for example, is just like when somebody commits a crime and then they end up going to prison. And then it could be, it could be any type of crime. You know what I'm saying? But it could be something, it could be something like stealing or fraud. Let's say that. Say somebody was doing fraud or they were stealing or whatever the fuck the case may be. You know what I'm saying? That could be, that's, stealing would be considered petty um, next to somebody who actually murdered someone, right? You know, somebody who stole something versus somebody who actually killed somebody, you would think a murderer would be the worst, the worser, you know, right? But not in this case. It's like somebody feels like they were doing like fraudulent activity, but they're being <clears throat> ridiculed as if they murdered somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, like, why is my karma so bad? You know, that's like, you know, somebody getting locked up for fraud. And then being sentenced to 10 years in prison. They're like, damn, all I did was steal something. Like, why Why am I getting 10 years for uh, fraud? You know what I'm saying? 10 years should be somebody who, for somebody who, um, who didn't kill somebody or murder somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody feels like their punishment isn't fair. But that's what happens when you make a deal with the devil. You don't get to decide how harsh your, your punishment is going to be. You don't get in trouble with the law and then go up to the judge and then tell them, well, I don't think you should give me 10 years. You don't get to tell the judge what your sentencing should be. There is no negotiation. The judge is the one that makes the decision based on what you did, based on the state that you in, the crime committed. Like you don't get to decide how much time or how much karma you get for doing something. Like, I, I mean... What's the message here for cancer? I feel like somebody learned a variable, a very valuable lesson here. Yeah, we got number 23 courthouses here. So a Libra could be significant. Some of you could be going from going to court for something with a courthouse and a judgment here. Yeah, look at that false person here. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Somebody was in a karmic relationship and then his karmic feminine and his karmic masculine were doing shit that they ain't had no business. I don't know what the fuck they doing. They could have been doing fraud because I said that, but I don't know. False person here. But yeah, this woman was the mastermind. She was manipulating this man because see, see, see how she got her mouth covered up and then this man got this blindfold on in the background. He was being manipulated by her real shit so yeah somebody was doing something they didn't have no business doing <clears throat> hold on Ugh. yeah we got a divine feminine it fell out on the floor Yeah, so I don't know if this, whoever this karmic feminine is, she could have been trying to turn a masculine against a divine feminine. But <clears throat> she could have tried this several times here. Yeah, because she wanted to stay with this king of pentacles. Whoever this karmic feminine is, she wanted to be with this king of pentacles. She didn't want nobody else to have this person or whatever. So she could have even resorted to doing spell work or... I don't know what the fuck she was doing. Okay. Or well, what she tried to get this masculine to do to this divine feminine. Because I feel like this king of pentacles was just used as a pawn. You know, he didn't know he was being manipulated by this, this karmic feminine energy. You know, he was blinded. And not saying that he's innocent because you should have your own discernment. Don't just listen to somebody, listen to what somebody's telling you to do. Use your brain. Like, I don't give a fuck how, how in love you think you are. You know what I'm saying? You could be in love with somebody. But don't ever let somebody influence you to do some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can be in love. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I ain't going to jail for nobody. Like, fuck all of that. Ain't that much love in the world. I'm not going to jail for no one. Okay? So, <laughs> the fuck? 
But yeah, I feel like she manipulated this masculine into thinking a divine feminine was his enemy or something here. Or that she was doing something to him when it was really this bitch doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she tried to get to, she tried to manip manipulate this masculine into sacrificing this divine feminine. But what happened was, is the shit backfired. So somebody in her family is the one who ended up getting sacrificed. So now this bitch is being humble. <clears throat> and having to start over. And she's paying double the karma. Karma for the shit that she did. And then the karma for what this masculine did. Because I feel like he was just a pawn in the situation. You know what I'm saying? He was being manipulated. Even though he did do it. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't, he didn't know what he was doing. You know what I'm saying? He may have thought that he was doing the right thing or he was listening to the right person or whatever. So, I mean, I feel like he is, he could be getting karma too, but I feel like most of the karma is falling on this feminine energy. Yeah, look at that. Divine feminine and mature woman came out again. Mm-hmm. I feel like this divine feminine knows too. She knows what the fuck these people were trying to do to her. Or she knows what this what this feminine energy, this karmic film was putting this masculine up to to do something to her. She knows. Let's see. That's why I'm like that spell work shit. That that look. People energy is real, man. You gotta be careful what you're doing to people who you're wishing shit on because spiritual rank is not somebody that you that's not something that you can see on someone you don't know what nobody's spiritual ranking is when you meet them you know what i'm saying you can't just see that on somebody you know it's not it's it's spiritual rank is not easy to see on someone you know what i'm saying like you could look at anybody and think whatever, but they don't necessarily make it true. I can look at you and tell that you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever, but I can't look at you and tell your spiritual ranking. Like I don't know how close you are to God. You know what I'm saying? And somebody here tried it. Like she thought that she was just gonna get rid of this divine feminine to keep this king of pentacles, this man with money or whatever the fuck. And I feel like this shit didn't cost her someone in her family because she did that. Yeah, message here. <clears throat> yeah, so this divine feminine, she could be in union with somebody else already. And she could be getting a message from this, this king of pentacles here that got manipulated by this karmic film. But, I mean, somebody's ancestors are not playing with this person. This person could be pay facing poverty. With the number 37 here, something's over. I feel like this divine feminine is in union now or she's getting ready to get married. Like she could definitely be with somebody or in a relationship or married now. And I feel like this king of pentacles who was manipulated by this karmic fem, I feel like they're in poverty now. I feel like they lost everything from fucking with this bitch, this karmic feminine. Yeah, I feel like your ancestors been turning their ass up too. Like with all the smoke. You hear me? <laughs> Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Yeah, and then the community is watching too. Yeah, the community could be watching this divine feminine get blessed with this mature man. It's like somebody, something here is being proven. It's being called out in the spirit. It's like somebody, it's like somebody here doesn't even have to say something. People just know what the fuck is going on because of what's happening to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like people know who the culprit is, who the fuck was doing shit. They ain't had no business based on what's happening now. Judgment has been called on these people. Somebody here has been passing away and somebody out here is this, this divine feminine has been getting blessed. I told you she has a counterpart now. Mature man to mature woman in the community. It's like they're watching this divine feminine get blessed. So it's like seeing this, this, um, <clears throat> Seeing this divine feminine come in union is how people knows that she wasn't the one doing spell work. She wasn't the one stirring shit up. She wasn't the one causing the trouble and doing all that weird shit. It was this karmic feminine energy that's losing family members and shit. Mm -mm. Ooh, I just heard a horn outside too. Yeah, the community is watching this situation. Even if nobody is saying nothing, people are definitely tuned in. They're paying attention. They're watching what's happening to this karmic femme, and they're watching what's happening to this masculine. Mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like something here then got real, okay? 
Like the jokes is over, the games is over. It's like something here is not it's not fun. It's not funny anymore. I feel like somebody's like really experiencing the wrath of God. Let's see, what are the messages here for cancer? Stress the fuck out, okay? She is pissed the fuck off. It's like this shit is becoming too much romantic. It says love affair, sex fix, secret lover, fuck buddy. I mean, so this masculine energy could be cheating on her again. I don't know why I said again. So I don't know. I feel like <clears throat> Okay, let's stalkers is stalking watching and obsessed so somebody have a stalker out here or somebody stalking somebody it might be this king of pentacles here yeah waves emotions coming and going yeah hopefully that ain't you cancer but i'm telling you whoever the karmic fam is in this situation i feel like she's really in her feelings like, I feel like this spell worked and backfired. And now this masculine energy is, like, obsessed with this divine feminine. But, see, that's what I'm saying. This shit was so fucking stupid for somebody to do. This karmic feminine energy was doing spell work to keep this masculine energy away from this divine feminine. But all the shit backfired. So, now he's even more obsessed with the divine feminine than he was in the first place. It's like she tried to make a deal with the devil to sacrifice this divine feminine so she could keep this king of pentacles for herself but it backfired the only thing that happened is somebody in her family somebody close to her is the one that got sacrificed and this masculine is even more obsessed with the divine feminine than he probably ever has been that's why i said somebody could be getting cheated on again so she's with this king of pentacles who's not happy he doesn't want to be with her he wants to be with divine feminine but she divine feminine is in a whole new relationship somewhere with a real masculine and so he's probably just running around you know just doing what the fuck he want to do you know yeah, realization, awareness, finding out, coming to the light. I'm telling you, people are seeing the truth in this situation. People are like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's making sense to people now why something happened here. Yeah, it says settlement, agreement, and compromise. Karmic friends, the will of fortune, and played out. Yeah, this game is played out. Somebody here, it's just like, man, there's been a shift in the energy. The tables been turned on the motherfucker. Like, just give it up. Then we got settlement, agreement, and compromise. Can't fully trust him. See, tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. So I don't know who your friends are, Cancer, but you need to watch your circle. I don't feel like these bitches are really your friends. <clears throat> Yeah, but I feel like this karmic energy is trying to settle something now. That's what I'm saying. Karmic debt here. Somebody is trying to atone for their sins so they could be apologizing to motherfuckers now. You know, trying to get back in people's good graces. You know, trying to keep people from looking at them like an evil, wicked bitch. It's like, no. I'm like, because this bitch was going crazy with the spell work. You know what I'm saying? She was going, she was, she was going out of her way to keep this king of pentacles away from this divine feminine. But now that that shit has backfired and the realization, awareness, people are paying attention and waking up and shit is coming to the light. It's like now she's trying to settle and agree and compromise. Now she's trying to act like, oh, I'm friendly or I actually am a really nice person. I don't I don't really be on that anymore. Like she could be trying to get back in with, the, with a group of karmic bitches or something. Bitches that she just said, fuck you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. These karmic friends of hers 
I feel like these bitches ain't really her friend, but these bitches, bitches probably don't be going crazy over a nigga like that, though, either. You know, so these karmic bitches that she, I mean, she could have tried to sacrifice her friends. I mean, this really, this karmic feminine, it feels like a woman who went out of her way to keep this masculine from a divine feminine. I feel like a bitch went crazy. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, even her karmic friends were kind of like, bitch, are you all right? Like, what? Are you cool? Like, are you good? I feel like her, even her karmic friends stopped fucking with her for a second because of this shit that she was trying to do. But it says, can't fully trust them, tension, secret competition. So if she is trying to get cool with a group of friends again, I wouldn't trust them hoes. Or if these hoes shouldn't trust her ass. It's like, bitch, you went way out of your way to try to, like, keep some man from be from leaving you and being with a divine feminine. Like, what, what bitch in her right mind would go to that degree, that would go to that extent? It's like, that seems off. It's like, mm, bitch, I don't know. Yeah, look at that. <clears throat> yeah, it says marriage for money. Yeah, so she was trying to keep this king of pentacles for stability, for money. And she became obsessed with this shit. Must have indulgence with marrying for money. She was obsessed with keeping this relationship together for security and stability. You know what I'm saying? This king of pentacles here. Married for money. Like that was, I mean, that was the root of this situation was money. It's like, I finally found a nigga with money, some hustle. Like I can't let him leave me to go be with a divine feminine. Yeah, it says dodging bullets, blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected by haters. It says fake accounts, social media. So somebody out here is making fake accounts to spy on somebody because they don't want to get gone off on with the do dodging bullets because somebody here knows that they were wrong as fuck. And they know if they try to go say something to somebody that somebody going to empty the clip on their ass. And I ain't talking about like literally. I ain't talking about killing nobody. I mean like somebody is really just going to go in on their ass. So somebody's like watching somebody from fake accounts. And then, yeah, it says, look, impersonator wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, looks like you, and copy you is on the bottom of the deck. Told you. This is this karmic feminine energy. She tried to copy and impersonate and steal the essence of this divine feminine to keep this king of pentacles. But now this bitch has been losing family members. She got double the fucking karma for making a deal with the devil. And this masculine energy is still fucking off on her. It's like, bitch, what was the point? So now she's trying to get back cool with these karmic bitches or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like this bitch went crazy with the shit. I mean, she was obsessed with keeping this king of pentacles away from this divine feminine. And she ain't give a fuck about her friends. She ain't give a fuck about nobody. You know what I'm saying? This bitch is like, fuck my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> well, not fuck my friends, but you know what I mean. You know how, you know how some females can get so dick crazy or just crazy, period, over a man that it's just like, you don't even see him or hear from him no more. It's like, damn, my shit, I thought I was friends with the bitch, but shit, she with her mans. You know how bitches switch up when they get into a relationship? But I, I think what they don't realize is that this bitch was like, she was going out of her way to keep this man away from this divine feminine. It became her obsession. Like, literally. So she ain't had time for karmic friends. It's like, bitch, I'm on a mission to keep this king of pentacles away from this divine feminine. Like, I don't have time to be hanging out, kicking with bitches. It's like some bitch out here was so consumed with and obsessed with doing this. Like, that's crazy. Let's see. What's the message here? Yeah, influencers, influencers. So somebody could be an influencer. You could be cancer. Um, you could be say, IG model, podcast, vlogger, blogger. Um, something you make money online or something, or you can have some sort of online online business or online presence. Yeah, ten foil hat. I told you somebody's trying to act innocent now. It's like they they want to pretend like they're um somebody is trying to minimize their um 
influence in this situation. Somebody here, now that shit that hit the fan, somebody is trying to be like, well, I, I didn't really do that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I was I was in this, I was in I was with this karmic feminine. I feel like it's this masculine. Like, yeah, I was with the karmic feminine, but I wasn't doing spell work on divine feminine. It's like they're trying to make themselves seem more innocent. But that's not gonna work. Yeah, unicorn, told you. This is this divine feminine energy. It's like somebody's trying to make themselves seem more seem innocent to this divine feminine now. Like they didn't know no better or they didn't know, uh, no, nah, bitch, you knew. You knew. Yeah, look at that. Her ass is mad. <laughs> this bitch is heartbroken, three of swords, she's pissed. Don't you, this karmic feminine energy, she's a complete bitch. I told you, this is a bitch with a nasty-ass attitude, smart-ass mouth. It's like she say hurtful shit because she's coming from a hurt place. This bitch is in the three of swords energy, period. You hear that? I told you, I can't make this shit up. Yeah, look, star seed. That's that divine feminine energy. Unicorn and star seed. Like somebody was really trying to play with a chosen one. Like real shit. And then it says shadow and stay in your lane. Yeah, this is this masculine energy. He needs to do his shadow work and stay out of this divine feminine business. And he's been warned. With the red flag here, he's been warned to stay away from this divine feminine. Because he teamed up with this karmic. Even though the karmic was probably the one doing the spell work and doing all that weird shit. But still, I mean, you were in the shit together. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Somebody's trying to make it seem like they're more innocent than the other one. Like, you're not innocent, motherfucker. You <clears throat> were still doing, still riding with this bitch, still siding with this bitch. You're just as guilty as her whether or not you were actually doing the spell work or not. Like, you're, you're still in the same boat with her. I feel like this this karmic feminine and this this karmic masculine, they could be like placing blame on each other, trying to scapegoat each other. No, he was you. No, he was you. No, he was you. It's like they're doing that type of shit now. Yeah, they turned on each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now this masculine energy is trying to make itself seem innocent towards this this unicorn energy. Tim foil hat trying to act like he's woke to the connection now or yeah da, 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 da. somebody could be speaking about this on a platform like telling their story or some shit yeah impersonator but yeah let's see we 40 minutes in i'm just talking like i ain't even got to the tarot damn cancer. But that's that's what a motherfucker get out here. This bitch is getting exactly what she deserves, and so in this masculine energy because bitch is never that serious. Like you can't force somebody to be with you and all for money, bitch. Like it's never that deep. Like it's not. Yeah, that's the message here for cancer. I feel like this karmic feminine is, is looking for empathy now. It's like, bitch, you weren't looking for empathy and understanding when you was doing all that wicked shit to try to get rid of this divine feminine. Now you want somebody to feel sorry for you because you going through the motions and this karma turning your ass up. Nah, bitch, that ain't how it work. <clears throat> Five of Cups reverse. Yeah, the food card. Yeah, in the page of pentacles, I told you. This 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 fool card here feels like this divine feminine. Aries could be significant here, but this fool card feels like this divine feminine. She chose a new path. She went into a different direction. You know what I'm saying? And she doesn't have any regrets. She's not sad. She's not heartbroken. It just kind of is what it is, but she's just happy to be free and on a new path, on a new journey, leaving this shit behind. <clears throat> And here go this masculine energy, earth energy again here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or whoever this masculine energy is, he got earth placements. But Page of Pentacles here, he's trying to make amends with the, with this unicorn, star seed, divine feminine energy. He's trying to apologize or make amends or say sorry or something like that. Yeah, a message and a gift. The Page of Pentacles is a messenger. 
It's like now he wants to apologize to this divine feminine or he wants to try to give her some sort of explanation or something here. Like, nah, there, there is no explanation for something like this. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I told you. Eight of Cups. Somebody's like walking away. They're done. Eight of Cups is like, I refuse to settle. I put. I told you, somebody's being forced into a new start out here. Eight of Cups is like, nah, bitch, you, you, you know, it, it's time to walk away from this shit. Nothing else is going to come of this. The Eight of Cups is here. The Eight of Cups. So somebody feels like because they invested a lot of time, energy, emotions into this situation, but it's like you still haven't reached the Ten of Cups yet. So like you did all this shit and this man still ain't married you. He still ain't proposed to you. He still ain't offered you a commitment. So now somebody's being forced to walk away. Yeah, because two of swords reverse, their secrets are being exposed. There's awareness, realization. People are waking up to this shit. Judgment here. People are calling these motherfuckers out. Like, what are what are y'all doing? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, what is the problem? Like, that's <clears throat> the five of cups here. Yeah, star, reverse, Aquarius energy. Yeah, now somebody's feeling hopeless and helpless. Yeah, I told you, somebody's acting like a victim now with the star reverse. They feel hopeless. They feel helpless. Yeah, they don't know what their purpose is in life. It's like somebody's just like, well, what do I do now? You know, I mean, I did all this spell work to try to be with this King of Pentacles. That didn't work. So now what do I do? Like, now this, this karmic feminine energy doesn't know what to do. <clears throat> it's like she doesn't know what her purpose is. She could have even ruined her reputation. She could be sick, too. The star reverse. <clears throat> yeah, she could be experiencing some sort of symptoms or something here with the star reverse. That's the star reverse. I feel like this shit has really fucked this bitch up. Like, yeah, look at that. Six of Wands reverse. I'm telling you, a fall from grace. This could even be a celebrity here. Because a star and a Six of Wands is a celebrity. But when it's in the reverse, this is somebody, their representation or what they're known for is not good. It's like this person has a, it's like they're known, they can be celebrity status, known online and shit, but it's not for anything positive. The star reverse, it's like this person's popular for the wrong reasons. Six of Wands reverse is somebody who's known to be a clout chaser, an attention whore, jealous, um, they're a follower, a groupie, like... Yeah, somebody fell from grace with the Six of Wands. Their reputation is ruined or their their influence in the public has been tainted. It's like people don't respect this person anymore. It's like they're well known and they're popular, but it's like people don't respect them anymore because of something that they did or were doing. And then when the star is in reverse, that's somebody who they are talented. They do have some sort of star quality, but it's just like their personal life overshadows their talent. So instead of this person being known for whatever they were talented or skilled at, it's like they're known for <clears throat> some bullshit, basically. Yeah, it's like somebody's not respected in the community anymore. devil here told you they made a deal with the devil that's why this person is falling from grace it's like they made a deal with the devil the devil promised them something so the devil could have put a capricorn energy here the devil could have promised them fame fortune some type of lifestyle everything that they wanted only if they could sacrifice this divine feminine or this divine masculine they weren't able to accomplish that so now this devil is snatching everything back or they're having a pay 
You know, they got an old, they owe this devil energy something. They're bound to something here. It could be this karmic relationship. They're stuck there until a karmic debt is paid off. But it's like, in the meantime, they're falling from grace. They're losing their reputation. They're getting sick. <clears throat> it's like they're losing followers, subscribers and shit. Yeah, because the, de the, the devil is like a loan shark. It's like he, he'll give you something, but it's with interest. It's like the devil will come to you and be like, oh, you want $3 million? I can give you five. But if I give you $5 million, you got to do this for me. And, of course, any low vibrational being or low vibrational person, they'll be like, shit, $5 million? Hell yeah. And jump on it immediately. You know what I'm saying? But not remembering. It's just like, yeah, $5 million, but it's something else you have to do, too. And it's like, oh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. So the devil go ahead and give them the $5 million. And then <clears throat> later on down the line, when they just spent all the money and shit, the devil like, what's up? Remember you told me you was going to do that favor for me? And then he like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to go ahead and do that for me now. But this person couldn't deliver. They weren't able to sacrifice something. So now, since they couldn't deliver on their end, but what they promised the devil they were going to do, the devil came through his problems. It's like, I gave you what you wanted. You wanted fame, I gave you that. You wanted five million, I gave you that. Now here I am asking you for the favor that you promised me, and you can't do it now? So it's like, all right, well, I'm going to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take you for everything you got. I'm going to sacrifice you then. So you, since you can't do what I asked you to do now, I'm going to sacrifice you. Somebody here let the devil trick they ass, boy. Woo! The devil here. Yeah, that's why somebody's like obsessed now. Whoever this person is that's, that's falling from grace, they're stuck somewhere in a karmic relationship. They're obsessed. This obsessive behavior, drugs, alcohol, they're just really living an unhealthy lifestyle. This could be somebody who's like, this could be somebody who's like kind of overweight or they're gaining weight or something. Why, why is the devil here? Yeah, seven of wands. Mm-hmm. It's like somebody's like embarrassed here. Yeah, this is this the seven of wands reverse is like folding on your beliefs, not standing on business and shit. It's like they they fold it too easily. It's just like they let the devil come in and offer them something and they took it like so easily. Why well, is the seven of wands reverse here? Now somebody's like struggling to survive. They're embarrassed. That's the seven of wands here. They're definitely not protected. They don't know how to set boundaries. Yeah, strength card reverse. Yeah, they're a simp, a punk. Strength card reverse, Leo energy. <coughs> yeah, this is somebody who's weak-willed, easily influenced. So, I mean, this devil could be this karmic feminine energy. That promised this person something, you know. She came in and was like, "Nah, I, I can I can treat you better than divine feminine. I can give you a better life. I can be a better wife than divine feminine." Da 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 da. This person fell for it, and now their whole life is ruined. Star, the six of wands reverse, the strength reverse, and the seven of wands reverse. This person has been weakened. Okay, they're weak willed. very insecure now and they're embarrassed of this situation that they have going on with this karmic it's like embarrassing why is the strength reverse here yeah 10 of wands mm -hmm. told you somebody's just getting dropped they're getting left somebody's leaving, they're letting go. Ten of Wands, they're just like, yeah, this is too much to deal with. And they're releasing this burden and walking away with the Eight of Cups. Lots of Ten of Wands here. Yeah, Hangman, hey told you. Somebody got sacrificed. Hangman. Hey Somebody has, uh, what is this shit? I can't make this up. I mean, that's what the hangman is about, sacrifices. It's, when it's in the upright, it's like somebody has awareness now. They have a realization. They're looking at something from a different perspective. 
they're either realizing that they've been sacrificed. Yeah, they could be realizing that they were sacrificed. Like, damn. Like, I just straight been dropped from the team. Ten of Wands and a Hangman upright. Mm -mm. Yeah, death reverse. Yeah, because somebody didn't want to change. That's why somebody somebody was like, I'm hearing somebody was a liability. They didn't want to go through this death process. They didn't want to have to start over. But this person is having to start over anyway because they've been sacrificed. Surprise the fool card reverse. I mean, the fool card of life. Yeah, Queen of Cups reverse. And the Queen of Cups reverse is somebody who's very, very emotionally unstable, emotionally immature. Um, she's clingy, needy, spiteful, vindictive. She have a drinking problem. She be alcoholic with the Queen of Cups reverse. Just emotionally unstable, emotionally immature, always playing a victim, very whiny. She can have mother mother issues or mommy issues and shit. Whoever this is, whoever this Queen of Cups reverse is, I feel like this is something who didn't have like a good mother influence or she didn't have a close relationship with her mom. I mean, Cancer, that is your energy. But like I said, you know where you fit in here. I mean, anybody can embody the Queen of Cups reverse energy. You know what I'm saying? But that is your card. So some cancer women, it is you. Others of you, you're the divine feminine who's been freed of this situation. It's like this, this, this karmic feminine energy was so busy trying to sacrifice this divine feminine to keep this masculine when she doesn't even realize that divine feminine is the one who sacrificed her and this, this karmic man. House of Queen of Cups reverse. <clears throat> I feel like this current feminine is definitely in her feelings. Or like I said, or this masculine energy is sacrificing her. They're releasing her. Queen of Cups is like, nah, I shorty. Yeah, a page of cups. Yeah, she could have a kid with this person or she could be pregnant. With the page of cups here. It's like, damn, bitch, you getting dropped and, and you're pregnant too? It's like, somebody here don't give a fuck. They like, girl, like, yeah, you pregnant. I'm going to take care of my kid, but bitch, I'm a Gucci on you. I'm I'm good on you. Somebody's like walking the fuck away. Like, bitch, nah, you didn't cost me too much shit. You cost me my fucking divine feminine, bitch. I've been losing money. My reputation is ruined and all type of shit. Yeah, because the devil is here. I feel he's bound to this bitch in some type of way. So they got a kid together. It could be a son. Why is the page of cups here? Or she, like I said, she could be trying to play nice now. Queen of Cups reverse in the page of cups upright. Now she's trying to apologize to people and shit. Now she's handing out I'm sorry's and looking for um sympathy and playing victim and shit because of how some shit didn't play it out. This masculine energy didn't lift her ass alone. Like, bitch, nah, I'm good on you. You're a weirdo, you're clingy, you're needing needy, you're worse on. <clears throat> The page of cups here. So yeah, now she's either pregnant or she's trying to apologize to people. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. I told you. It's a Queen of Wands reverse. This this one of them karmic bitches that she's friends with. She could be trying to get back cool with a fire sign female that's low vibrational and toxic. Mm -hmm. She could be trying to apologize or offer her a commitment now. It's like, yeah, this clingy, needy bitch, Queen of Cups reverse, is trying to, like, latch on to somebody else. 
You know what I'm saying? Because she's emotionally codependent. So she could have reached out to some fire sign female from her past. This could even be a woman who's like, this queen of cups reverse could be somebody who's like bisexual. She's known to like men and women, but something here didn't work out with her trying to sacrifice this king of pentacles. So now she's switching to the other side, trying to be a lesbian again. It's like, bitch, what are, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, bitch? Like, oh, Lord. Yeah, it's like she's trying to apologize to people now. Now she want to offer a commitment and shit. But I feel like she didn't already, like, stepped on toes, pissed people off, rubbed people the wrong way. It's like now she's looking for some sort of sympathy because something has happened to her. She's been sacrificed. It's like motherfuckers just walking away from her now. Watch the Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, Sun Court. Yeah, so this could be a Leo. A Leo female out here. But I feel like, I mean, I feel like whoever this Miss Queen of Wands reverse, she's messy too. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but something here could be getting exposed with the sun card. Something's coming to the light. It's awareness. People are seeing something about this Queen of Cups reverse now. But I feel like this Queen of Cups reverse is trying to apologize to this Queen of Wands reverse. Because there's been some type of awareness here. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, the hermit car reverse. Yeah, because somebody's like they're depressed, they're lonely, like people don't want to be bothered with them. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to go within and do the work, they're codependent with the hermit reverse. Somebody may need therapy. That's a hermit reverse. Yeah, a page of wands. This hermit, this hermit reverse could be this masculine energy too. I feel like people don't want nothing to do with these two motherfuckers. This karmic feminine and this this masculine energy she tried to use as a pawn. I feel like people don't want nothing to do with neither one of them. And I feel like this Queen of Cups reverse is somewhere trying to make amends with a Queen of Wands reverse. It's like, but something here is like in the light. Like they're exposed. Something has came to the light about these people or about this situation. And I feel like this masculine energy, he's lonely too. The Hermit reverse. He doesn't want to go within and do the inner work. But he's steady trying to reach out to people too. Page of Wands. There go that message shit again. Somebody out here got hella kids too, because it's like it's like three kids out here with the page of wands, page of cups, and the page of pentacles. Or these people can have kids together. <clears throat> That's the page of wands here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this 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 um uh, this would be a Virgo. It could be a Virgo significant with the hermit in the nine of pentacles reverse. But yeah, somebody out here is a scammer. The nine of pentacles reverse is a con artist, it's a prostitute, a sex worker, somebody who um gets into relationships for stability and security. It's like they like to ride other people's coattails and they can lie and say they're some sort of businessman or they run some sort of business when they really they scam people or they fuck for money. Somebody who's extremely insecure. Somebody out here is so insecure. Strength reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse. Somebody here is so insecure. And they're just fake as fuck with the nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, it's like they're they're holding a grudge. This is somebody who's hard-headed. They don't learn from their past. 
they're resentful they feel like life isn't fair because they've been through so much but it's just like you've only been through so much so you can learn these lessons but you haven't even learned the lessons you know what I'm saying? You're feeling like life isn't fair because you don't even understand why you had to deal with any of that. You're just... That's what I told you. Somebody out here is like feeling like some shit ain't fair. They're holding a grudge. They're resentful. They got an attitude problem. This person could look tired and worn down. Just exhausted. They could be chronic fatigue. Always tired. Why is the 9 of Wands, you know? Yeah, it's like somebody failed at something. The Nine of Wands reverse is like failing right at the last hurdle. It's like it's like passing out right before you get to the finish line. Yeah, it's like somebody didn't accomplish something here. Somebody could be saying nine, nine, nine. Somebody out here, they didn't accomplish what they were trying to do. They tried, they put in all this work to try to sacrifice a divine feminine and it just didn't work. The divine feminine is in the Queen of Pentacles of Right. She's over here chilling. Queen of Pentacles. I mean, <laughs> she's stable, secure. Like I said, she can be in a relationship. Her money is fine. Her career is fine. Her home is fine. She's taking care of business responsibilities. Like, she's still a diva here with the Queen of Pentacles upright. Still loyal. This is like... What's the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, a nine of swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, if somebody wants to communicate with this with this divine feminine, with this queen of pentacles, real bad. It's like they want to talk to her, rush in, say something to her, knight of swords. But this could be the same person that ghosted her to be with this queen of cups reverse. Now I'm telling you, this queen of cups reverse, she's the this queen of cups reverse is the culprit. She's the one that's responsible for all of this shit. But I feel like she could have been cheating on this Knight of Swords and having some type of lesbian relationship with a Queen of Wands reversed here. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, I told you. This this Knight of Swords is trying to rush back in with the Ace of Wands towards this Queen of Pentacles. This divine feminine, like, motherfucker, this shit is not finna work. Ace of Wands and the Knight of Swords, like, this, this Queen of Pentacles don't want your dirty ass wand. Like, real shit. This could be a Gemini. But like I said, this is somebody, the Knight of Swords is just somebody who's real impulsive. Somebody who is, like, impatient, they're quick moving, they could be a fast talker, they're really, like, in and out. It's like they just want to rush in, try to offer somebody some dick. Like, ew, don't nobody want that shit. The fuck? Try some, um, and so on here. Ace Yeah, tempers, yeah, because they have addictions. They're upset. Like, the tempers reverse. There's somebody with no inner peace. They're not healed at all. Like I said, they could be overindulging um, in alcohol, shit, anything. Like the tempers reverse can speak to overindulging and shit, seeking some sort of satisfaction because they don't have no internal fulfillment. Somebody is like looking for their desperate tempers reverse. They're looking for fulfillment in people, places and things because they're not at peace. It's like, so they overindulge in sex. They overindulge in alcohol. They overindulge in shopping, spending money. It's just like they they overdo everything to, to feel this void, to feel some sort of satisfaction. That's why they're in the Knight of Swords energy because they just go from place to place to place to person to person to person trying to seek out some sort of fulfillment. Sagittarius energy out here is the Temperance Reverse. This is like Discord too. So this person's always into it with motherfuckers with the Temperance Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this this masculine energy is just running around out here now. Not a source just looking for some sort of temporary fulfillment. Or like I said, they got some type of addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, or shit, both. 
It's like they're desperate. I don't know why it's a temperance you was. Damn, high priest is reversed. Mm -hmm. This person has ill intentions, or there's a high priestess reversed, a dark, a dark high priestess that's um pissed at this person. That's what I'm telling you. I feel like this this karmic couple, <laughs> this karmic couple was together and they were just doing all type of shit. I feel like this Queen of Cups reverse and this Knight of Swords is the is the karmic couple. It's an air sign and a water sign, or a cancer and a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Or a Cancer and a Sagittarius. There could be a Pisces out here that's like pissed. Or this could be a Cancer and a Pisces. But I feel like this Carmen couple was just doing the most. It's like she could have been one of them type of females. Like, I don't give a fuck what you do as long as you're not leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as you pay these bills here, you take care, you provide. I don't give a fuck what you do. I don't feel like this Knight of Swords is running around everywhere. This Queen of Cups Reverse had her own little sexual relationship going on with a uh, low vibrational bitch out here, too. Why well, is a high priestess reverse? But then I feel like there was another bitch involved, too. Like this Knight of Swords. I feel like this karmic couple was cheating on each other. Like this karmic feminine was this queen of cups reverse was fucking on some karmic bitch that she was having a lesbian relationship with and this knight of swords was running around fucking on some bitch too but the bitch he was fucking with was a dark high priestess with the um high priestess reverse so she could have been doing spell work on his ass and shit yeah this bitch is under judgment too unwanted attention and malicious gossip judgment reverse yeah look at that drama five of wands i'm telling you it's like these all these people are into it with each other now everybody's trying to blame the other one no it was you if he wouldn't have never did that no it was you if he wouldn't have never did that and fuck that bitch da, 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 da. it's like everybody's trying to place the blame on somebody else nobody wants to take accountability Yeah, Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, this this person is community dick. He didn't fuck a lot of bitches. Shit, he could even fuck some this Queen of Cups, some of her fucking friends or something like. Or this could be a lesbian relationship with the High Priestess reverse, the Queen of Cups reverse, and the Queen of Wands reverse. Like these bitches are weird and dark. Like I feel like bitches are just fucking on each other and lying and just doing all that. And then one of these lesbian hoes is like sneak dicking. Knight of Wands reverse here. Somebody here is a hoe. Or he could have turned this Knight of Wands reverse could have turned these bitches out, like got them into lesbianism or something. Getting them to sleep with each other and shit. And oh, something is weird out here, okay? Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Heavy on the Sagittarius energy with the Temperance reverse and the Knight of Wands. This is community dick. Like, this is somebody who just fucks with. And they fuck anybody. Knight of Wands, they don't care where they stick their dick. And they don't use protection either. They don't use condoms. Very immature. This person has an anger or a temper problem, too. Temper's reverse. And yeah. Knight of Wands, reverse. Ooh, somebody out here is just community dick. They're promiscuous as fuck just for the streets. Yeah, five of pentacles. Yeah, they're being left out in the cold or they're being left in poverty. And I told you, somebody here is like in poverty. Or they're losing everything or their money is fucked up or they could be sick because the strength card in the five of pentacles could be sick. I don't know. They could have an STD. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's harsh judgment amongst these people, though. Like, they're blaming each other. They're exposing each other. <laughs> Why is the Five of Wands? I mean, the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, but this, whoever this masculine energy is, like, this is the nerve. You got the nerves to be a ghoster, a player, a whore. 
and then you broke as fuck on top of that with the five of pentacles that's what i said because the nine of pentacles reverse came out somebody out here sleeps with people for money for security so this person ain't got no damn money they can't even provide security for themselves like they use other people for that how's the five of pentacles here they could be getting kicked out or put out or something yeah three of swords mm -hmm. told you something here was a lie something here was heartbroken and somebody out here is heartbroken with the three of swords yeah it's a 30 a third party out here definitely could be a libra or a sagittarius involved a leo a pisces that's the um three of swords here Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like these people are being left in this three of swords energy here because a divine masculine has came into the picture now. Yeah, this divine feminine is being blessed with a divine masculine. I feel like these people thought that this divine feminine was going to be destroyed. They was going to have her heart broken to where she can't find love and they was going to continue to feed off her energy so they could keep thriving in this weird ass third party shit that they were doing. And that's not what happened here. These people, this Queen of Cups reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, this Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands reverse, High Priestess reverse, they're all at odds with each other, conflict, jealousy, beef, arguing. They're all in the Five of Wands and the Three of Swords. And this Queen of Pentacles, this Divine Feminine, is getting blessed with an Emperor. Like, she's the only one who's came out of this shit unscathed. Everybody else is broken. <clears throat> Like they could even, I mean, the high priest is reversed. They could have either hired someone to to try to do spell work on this divine feminine. That shit didn't work. Yeah, two of wands reverse. Yeah, the nine of pentacles and the hierophant. Yeah, I feel like part of somebody's karma is having to apologize. Somebody's, ha they have to apologize. That's part of their karma. That That's how they're going to clear up some of their karmic debt is if they apologize to this divine feminine. I mean, it's not going to change the fact that they have to pay this karmic debt, but they're going to have to apologize. That's part of their karmic debt. Karmic debt. They have to own up and apologize for what they did. World card reverse, but they're definitely repeating a cycle out here. Mm -hmm. cups here. I don't know if they think this apology is going to lead to some sort of reconciliation, but it's not. <laughs> Moon card with the three of cups. Some of you cancers, maybe you could be you could be dating somebody privately. I feel like you could be more private about your love life now. You could be dating somebody in secret with the moon and the three of cups. People may know who this person is from a social circle or a friend group. That's why you're trying to keep it quiet. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. It's like you're just focusing on work. You could be at work. Working on your craft. Yeah, Queen of Swords here. Yeah, Six of Swords reverse. Or whoever this Divine Feminine is, she's keeping the person that she, she's keeping this Emperor a secret. It's like people may know that she's dating or she has someone, but they don't know the identity of this person. That's a six of swords reverse. Yeah, two of cups. Yeah, somebody's trying to spin a block on you, Cancer. Make amends with you, the six of pentacles. They want some sort of equal give and take now because they know you have the ten of pentacles. Yeah. And they know you're the one with the real Ten of Pentacles. You're the one with the legacy and the generational wealth. So somebody like, they want to get cool with you again. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Yeah, a big ass reality check. Um, the illusion is over. Seven of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, it's like people are seeing shit for what it is. There's no more confusion surrounding this. Like people are seeing how weird motherfuckers are. 
Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, somebody was just jealous. Somebody's secret competition. They're still trying to get some type of win out of this. Or they're trying to get revenge on this divine feminine for walking away. Because I feel like when this divine feminine walked away is when the illusion fell apart. Yeah, justice reversed with the five of swords. Yeah, somebody here is pissed because they got these legal issues now or they're in trouble with the law. Five of swords with the justice reversed. Yeah, somebody's pissed because all this karma is hitting them. This could be a lever in the five of swords. A lever that likes to play mind games and shit that wants revenge. Yeah, seven of pentacles. Seven of swords, yeah. They got some type of plan or strategy here, this Libra. Yeah, I feel like somebody's like watching and stalking somebody. Because they're, I mean, whoever this masculine energy is, I feel like he knows he got played. So it's like now he's into it with all these karmic bitches. And he could be stalking this divine feminine. Yeah, because he's juggling two of pentacles. He got multiple situations going on at once. Yeah, ooh, justice reverse and the wound fortune reverse. That karma turns somebody ass up. Okay. And it's like they feel like it's not fair. So they're trying to take vengeance into their own hands. It's like they're whoever this masculine energy is, I feel like he's mad at this divine feminine for walking away and finding love. <laughs> Yeah, King of Cups reverse. Yeah, he's in his feelings. Told you it's a karmic couple. King of Cups reverse to the Queen of Cups reverse. It's like they didn't did so much manipulative shit, and they're both codependent, emotionally unstable, victim playing, whiny. Um, they both could be alcoholics. Yeah, this Nine of Cups reverse. Yeah, he's fucking miserable. He hates his life. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this King of Cups reverse is, he's really thirsty, very desperate, very lame, and he's a loser. And this queen of pentacles is showing up as a divine feminine. She came in contact with the emperor. Now she's getting everything that he thought that he was going to get with this queen of cups reverse. And now that shit is in it, is it turning out like that? His life is made a, made a turn for the worse with the will of fortune reverse and justice. He got all type of legal problems and shit. It's like there ain't no getting out of this shit. He's stuck in this shit. Okay. Like, I'm telling you, they, they, this karmic couple realized that they were the one. They were trying to sacrifice the motherfucker, and they're the ones who end up being sacrificed. Yep. Eight of swords reversed. They never had nobody trapped or stuck or anything. They're the only one that's feeling like a failure and a loser. They can have to move back home with their parents. There's definitely something going on with their stability with the um, four of pentacles reverse. Yeah, you can be leaving this person cherry and upright. Yeah, you're just like, I'm out of there, cancer. Yeah, because this person could have been trying to love bomb you. I don't I don't know. These people are weird. Whoever the fuck these people are. Yeah, a lot of cheating, a lot of manipulation, a lot of dysfunction. Anyway, cancer, look, I'm gonna leave it here. I hope that it resonates. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit, and I will holler at you later. Peace.